Another classic. Rusty Jokes. Archetype on the track. I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. To become number one, the champion. Yeah, straight to the top. I'm taking it, taking it. Just for the record, I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. To become number one, the champion. Hey, yo, I reign victorious. Can't stop. What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Beer Gut Plays. Back at it with another episode of the WWE 2K23 My GM Mode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you guys like the content and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more wrestling content. Be sure to check out my other channels here on YouTube, whether it be Beer Gut 410 I will post the link in the top right-hand corner right here, do a lot of sports content over there. Going to be doing a MLB The Show 23 franchise mode on the Nintendo Switch, so be sure to check that out. Also check out Beer Gut Races. I will leave that linked off in the top right-hand corner right here. A lot of NASCAR and racing-centric content, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out the video's sponsor for today, W Energy, I will leave the link in the video description below. Use the code BEERGUT at checkout and save yourself a few bucks on your order. I am super excited about this. I think this is going to be a really good opening episode. We've got some really big matches going on. We've got Santos Escobar and Braun Strowman for the IC title. To crown the first ever Beer Gut SmackDown Tag Team Champions, we will have the Viking Raiders versus, versus the Creed Brothers. We also will have the women's tag team titles crowned here tonight. And in the main event, it is going to be Seth Rollins versus John Cena in a non-title match. That should be a lot of fun. Just taking a quick look at these uh, these legend superstars, maybe bring somebody in. Nobody that I really want to bring in right now. We did bring in Cody on a short short term deal, just to kind of get things go. You know, get a have a big five star promo guy in on the roster. So hopefully we can have a good match. Oh, we're also gonna have. Oh, it's. The Toxic Attraction versus Zoe Stark and, um, oh crap, Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons. We're going to get to the opening matchup here in Seattle, Washington, Beer Guts home, away from home, and we're going to have some fun here. It is, I'm super excited about this month match. We're going to have, we're going to have, sorry. Santos Escobar, the leader of Nevada Del Fantasma, go up against the Arch Dome, grab the first hour, and that shit is Jeez, this is good. I think we had a solid draft, which, by the way, I will post it in the top right-hand corner here. We had... I feel like we got some really good steals of the draft. Johnny Gargano, uh, Cameron Grimes. We also got... We got Santos. We got Braun. We got two very good tag teams, so I, I think we're going to have some really good matchups. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat GM Mick Foley, but, excuse me, we sure are going to try. And Braun Strowman from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, on his way to the ring. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a fun match. Be 
be a very fun match. Yeah. This this is going to be a really good match. I I think either this and Cena and um this or Cena and uh Rollins will be match of the night. I haven't quite decided which one's going to be, but I think we've got four high caliber matchups going on tonight. As you see, referee holding the IC title way up over her head. Strowman and Santos. Oh, Strowman tosses him into the corner already. And Strowman going to take him to the one side of the corner. And back around, Santos going for the ride. That can't feel good on the back. Oh, Strowman with some big shots. A big boot and Santos busted wide open. But Santos, oh, drops Braun right on the back of his head. And, oh, and a two count right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he's going to bounce him off the ropes here. Dra or a, a arm drag and an elbow drop to the back of the neck. Oh, man. Tosses Braun back into the ring. And we're going top rope action here with Santos. Frog splash. Not going to go for a cover here. We got to get the big man down. Whips him into the corner. And he's taking him to the second rope. Uh-oh. What is Santos going to do? Oh, puts him down. Ah, uh, two count. Uh-oh, Strowman's got him up on the shoulders. The Strowman slam and the cover. And that is going to be a three count. Strowman is victorious. Strowman is your first Intercontinental Champion of this My GM mode. He snags the title from the ref. What a victory. And the winner. Classic match. Four and a half stars. What a great... What what a way to start out the My GM mode. Oh my goodness. Go Road's gonna cut a promo, gonna get us some money there, $13,000. And next up is the tag team title. It is gonna be contested in a tables match. Julius and Brother Brutai, the Creed brothers, going up against. The Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. And this should just be a all-out brawl. You know, the Creed brothers, they're gonna They're gonna they're gonna use those uh use those collegiate wrestling moves. And the Viking Raiders are just gonna straight beat you up. Whoa. I always wondered why Eric had like the little blonde the blonde shit coming out of his hair like out of his thing never quite understood that wow Alright. 
Yeah, never quite understood the whole um, the whole Viking Raiders fight. You know the the blonde wig, but this should be a really good match. I'd like to actually see the Creed brothers go up against uh, Alpha Academy. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. I don't know how much longer we got of Alpha Academy. I know. Um, I know. Um, They've been teasing Otis is going to be joining the Maximum Male Models for months. Um, I actually watched the draft both nights. Um, I actually fell asleep during Monday Night Raw. Three hours of Monday Night Raw is just too much for... Uh, they need to go back to two hours. I know other people have stated it in the past... But, yeah, we need to go back to two hours on that. That That is just too much wrestling for one night. And not be a pay-per-view. I know, sponsor, sponsor, sponsors. But tag team title matchup. And here we go. Oh, man. And this is just going to be a knockdown, drag-out brawl. And as you see, both teams just absolutely just beating the crap out of each other. Only way to win the tag team titles is to put somebody through a table. And as you see, Ivar pulls uh, Brother Brutai out. And Brother Brutai coming back into the ring. A big shoulder tackle by Julius Creed. No momentum whatsoever. Gut wrench power bomb. And a fist to the face. Oh, big eye for her going flying right there. Oh my goodness. This has just been insane so far. Oh man. What the heck is going to happen here? Oh, belly to belly. And a DDT. Uh, what a cheesy way to win. I don't even think he actually went through the table. Ah, is what it is. Viking Raiders are the inaugural SmackDown, Smackdown Live Beer Gut Plays Tag Team Champions. It's all right though. I felt like that was a could have been a better match. Well, two and a half stars, not a bad way. Not a bad start. Okay, Eric and Ivar, two and a, two and a half stars. Johnny Gargano calls out Cameron Grimes. That's gonna start a rivalry, and it's Gigi Dolan, J.C. Jane. The winners are Zoe era Zoe Stark and. Uh, I'm sorry, Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons. Even with the interference, and now we're its main event time. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins and John Cena in a cage match. And non-title match, but you have to think if Seth Rollins wins the match, he's going to get a, a title match down the future. And I'm just going to zip it. I love Seth Rollins' entrance music. One of the greatest entrance musics of all time. And you can't you can't tell me any different. You cannot tell me any different. That is one of the best entrance music. Ah, it's currently the best. I think it's the best. Yeah. I, I love I love Rollins music. And 
Seth Rollins. I, like I said, he's he's just hit the prime of his career. I feel like thirty six years old. You know, he's already what a four time world heavyweight champion. That that loves Seth Rollins. You guys know, big, big, big John Cena mark here. Pro my, he's, pr I put him on my Mount Rushmore. Hogan, as much as I, and I, I don't dislike Hogan like, like a lot of people do. I, I feel uh, there was points where I felt like Hogan was overrated, especially you know, in the '90s and early WCW when he was feuding with the the Dungeon of Doom and stuff like that. Just didn't work for me, but yeah. We've got some really, I feel like we're going to have some really good matchups here. You know, we can have, I feel like we've got a really solid roster. And you know, first main event, Cena, Cena and Rollins, non-title, but, and Rollins drops Cena with the gut buster. And, oh, Pounds, they bang heads right there. Rollins the roll up and the super kick to Cena. Neck breaker, forearm to the back of the head. Cena's had that neck surgically repaired in the past, and it is going to be a big time target for Seth Rollins with the drop kick in the corner and. Uh-oh. What is Cena going to do here? Power bomb. And he's going to walk him towards the cage. Bounces his head off the cage. And hits him with the power bomb. Cena going for a cover. Not even a one count. Rollins still going strong. And now he's got... Cena's got Seth in a bear hug. But Rollins able to fight out... Misses the, the Enziguri kick, though. And Cena working the leg over, setting up for the STF. And Cena climbing the cage, looking to escape. You know, you'd think they would actually put the referee into, you know, being that it's pinfall or escape the cage. Pinfall submission or escape the cage. And Rollins... Gets him down and power bombs him back on the mat. Seth Rollins with the frog splash. Going for a cover. And the kick out at two. Cena gets right up. The shoulder. Shoulder Cena warming up. And the backdrop. And is he going to go for it? Nope. Reverse vertical suplex by John Cena. Wow, these guys are just going at it. Another reverse vertical suplex by Cena. Rollins. Oh, misses the curb stomp. Oh, the counter in the corner. Knee to the face. Rollins is going to call for it. He's going to go for it. The stomp. And Rollins got to go for the cover here. Cena kicks out at two. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Pedigree. Pedigree. Should we go for it? Uh-oh. He's calling for it. Curb stomp, and that's gonna bust Cena wide open. Go for the cover, Seth. Go for the. Oh, he went for another one. Oh, big cross body. Oh my goodness. Cena going for a cover. Kick out by Seth Rollins. Got him in the reverse, and whips him into the corner. 
What's Seth gonna do here? Tornado snap suplex. Moonsault. Seth going top. What's Seth gonna do here? Seth. Oh, big cross body. Gonna go for a cover. And it lets him up. Seth says, I'm not finished with you. Uh-oh. Going for it again. Going for it. Curb stomp. And that has got to be the end right there. That is just too much blunt force trauma to see in his face. And that's going to be a three count. Seth freaking Rollins is the victor here. What a match, though. That may have been the best match. That's, that's going to be a hard match to top. But I think we did... I, 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 we are going to top it at some point, but... Man, three stars, what? Rollins is the victor. Okay, so it looks like, according to the ratings, your opener was the best match. Don't really give a crap what Monday Night Raw does. Four stars for Brock and Finn. Uh, fair. Ridge Holland, promo. Interesting mid-card AJ and Rey Mysterio tagging up. Nakamura on Monday Night Raw. Kind of like real life now. Oh my goodness. Asuka. Three, or yeah, three and a half stars. Bailey and Natalia. Bianca Belair and Ronda Rousey. That would be such an interesting matchup. Okay. Fair. Fair. We didn't do too bad against uh, against Monday, against Raw. I think what we're going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to... I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, remember, we do get the, to steal one talent from Raw. So that... Because we have the, 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 the cheat code card. Well, that's going to be a really tough decision. Superstar training. Okay. That's going to be a really tough decision. Good opening week by Monday Night Raw. We're going to be going to Providence, Rhode Island next week. And we're going to be do or this week, we are going to be going to Hell in a Cell. Which I, I have some plans for that. So hopefully we will get, get things going. Now, obviously... I've mentioned this before. Um, we are going to be doing a, a, a three-way live stream every time we have a pay-per-view for this series. Whether it be, uh, and it's going to be live here, live on Twitch, and then live on Facebook. Facebook. So, guys don't know where, you know, guys can't catch it it will be you will be having access to it somewhere um looking maybe sign somebody gunther wouldn't be a bad but i think i need to kind of save the money a little bit and that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave it be for right now um uh, nobody i really want i miss the regal card so much but uh, i don't like the custom so cheat code and who we are gonna end up Ooh, I could grab Tommy Ciampa. But AJ Styles right there. AJ Styles would just be such a great addition to this Friday Night SmackDown roster. And we are going to bring him back to Friday night. And we're going to set up the, uh, the match for next week. Or the matches for next week. Opener, Becky, Charlotte. It is going to be a... Hmm. Okay. It's going to be an Extreme Rules match, non-title. We are also going to do a little bit of advertising with... I 
think we're gonna do it with Cody. Yeah, we're gonna do it with Cody again. All right. Only reason why I brought Cody in was to make money with him. Although maybe we could have him and AJ team up. Mid card match. It's gonna be Zelina Vega and Nikita Lyons, which could be great. And what's going to be on the other mid card? Hmm. We want to we want to rotate our roster pretty regularly. Uh, Julius Creed going to cut a promo. I'm going to try and gain some of that money back. That's you know obviously kind of what I need to do. I need to get some money back. We're going to do Johnny Gargano versus. Versus Cameron Grimes. We're going to do in a submission match. I think that could be a really good match. Johnny Gargano, the Gargano escape. That should be good. And then, uh, John Cena is going to call out Seth Rollins. All right. And we are going to have... I don't want to burn out my roster too quickly. Um, so we're actually going to move that. I'm sorry. That's going to be your main event next week is Gargano and Cameron in a submission match. I feel like that could be a really good match. And then we got to fill this other mid-card match, and it is going to be... Hmm. JC Jane and... Zoe Stark kind of continue that rivalry. And that should do it, guys. Whoops. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. And until next time, my friends, hopefully y'all have a great day. And peace.